Today, I want to show you a quick UV modeling tool tip thing in Unreal Engine 5. So I have an empty scene right here, and under my modes, I'm going to go to the modeling mode. And if you don't have modeling enabled, go to your settings, plugins, and type in modeling, and make sure you turn that on. So with this modeling mode, we're going to go ahead and add a rectangle. Click on the rectangle, set this to 1,000 by 1,000, and then drop this in our scene. Zero out the position here, and hit accept and cool. Now we have a plane in our scene. From here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust our light, and then we're gonna take this material that I have from Megascans and drop it on. And let's say for some reason we changed our mind. We didn't want this to be a square. Instead, we wanna make this much longer. We wanna make a much longer scene. So we can just hit R on the keyboard and go to our scale mode and scale this up to the size that we need it. Sure, fine, that works, but there's a big problem. It's stretched, it's weird, and what if I want to actually have this create like a cave sort of thing and I can duplicate this? This rock is all stretched and weird and gross, and if I tile it, sure, I could try and go in here and adjust this tiling to fix that so it we're compensating but th that's a huge waste of time so instead what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure we set this tiling to uh, one and one not zero and zero and then what we're going to do is go to our model mode x form and then bake transform and what we're going to do is basically take this stretch that we added to this mesh and basically say this is how big we want this object to be so first bake transform hit accept and we can see now that this scale of this object is now one one and one so now what do we do about the material? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this other long one for now. I'm gonna go into the UV tab under my modeling mode, and under this, there's a auto UV button. Click this, and it's going to look at the mesh and be like, how big do we actually want it? And this is fine. What we're looking for with this auto UV is it's just making sure that we're not getting stretched squares. If it's stretched, it's wrong, and you could go ahead and try and mess with some of these settings. Honestly, I don't do a whole lot of UV messing with in Unreal. I would do it in Blender or Cinema 4D or some other software, but if you're in a pinch, this is what I would use. Hit accept, and now it should be more accurate, and uh, it eh, looks fine. Let's uh, set this to five and five. Yeah, that does not look stretched, versus if we go here and stretch and maybe squash it down. Now it's gonna look weird and funky and we don't want that. But I can go to my auto UV again and uh, let's just go, oh, first we have to go to our X transform, bake transform, accept, and then we auto UV and now we're getting squares. So you do have to consider textile density as in how large your object is relative to the actual size of your material. So in this case where I have this super long object, maybe I'll set the tiling to like 20 and 20 and that should be a little bit more correct but we're getting tiling. So all that being said, what you have to do in the modeling mode is if you're starting out, make a shape under your create button, then you stretch it how big you want it under the X form, then hit the big transform, all that stuff. Then go to UVs and uh, auto UV. I guess that's, that's the tutorial, that's it. I hope you learned something. Let me know if you did. Learn something in the comment section down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever else. Comment section is down with that as well. And I will leave you with the final tip. As always, eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you'll make some. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.